Okay, we're just discussing um, the best option for shimmer with what equipment we have here. Um, I've got Ross. Hey, Ross. Hello. Ross is a genius in these type of things. Um, so we are trying to work out um, the best signal path um, to use because currently what we've got, in fact, Ross, you're probably better off take this. Sorry. Well, currently, right for the the main rig, the SWD. The 2000 yep. is in the, the main rig in a loop. Yep. Uh, and what we do for the shimmer sound, the shimmer is kind of a separate sound. Yep. It doesn't go to the amp, it just goes to a DI that goes to front of house, so it can, the front of house can mix it in and out and you know, yep. do it as, as he wishes. So the, the but it also means it's controllable by, the, by activating the SWD 2000 here. Yep. So even though you're using your TC as the main delay on a song, if I ever want to activate the shimmer, it would just be a question of turning. Just that, that would be because we're using the SWD two thousand to split the, the signal. That's right. why that works. Right. Okay. Um, so potentially it's going to go. Th this is essentially just for the shimmer um, side of things. This is just going to be a glorified splitter. Yep. Essentially. So this splits our when that patch on or when this pre uh, the. The patch, the preset in the patch. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Um, when that's activated, yep. it activates this essentially as a splitter box, yep. which allows the signal then to be sent down to the Digitech. Okay. Yeah. But the shimmer. But the signal still will go through this unit, the, yeah, the SWD two thousand. So we need to set a patch. Yeah. That on affect. there, which is MIDI programmable. Yeah. Which to is come to a certain sound. Right. Yeah. Essentially, just a, a, a bypass type patch. Yeah. No delay. Or All right. Just okay. The Okay, we can so, miss about with that. So that's still, so you still uh, get signal from your from your uh, your main amp. Okay, and then potentially going into the second Pod Pro because this guy. Well, it has to go into sure. It has to go into the actual. Uh, well, it has to go to the, the Digitech. The, yeah, that comes. That'll be the, out of the, the Digitech. Aye, aye. The, and then into the second Pod. And the second Pod, which is just a top guy here. Right. Okay. Um, and what's your, your, and what's your yeah. thoughts? And then the output of the Pod will be. Um, and it can either be balanced or it could be either just a regular unbalanced signal or right. it could be XLR. Right. Um, and I can put it, I can put another uh, All right, so the patch panel down here so right. it can just. At the moment, this is the way the patch panel looks. This is just the guitar yep. side of the things. Yeah. So you just get your guitar in and out. Mm -hmm. um, that's from your pedal board. Yeah. That's out to your amp. Yeah. That's the MIDI coming, MIDI, MIDI via XLR. Yeah. Um, because in our cases we don't need the power, we just need data plus and minus and the ground. And then our AC out, which comes from power conditioner up here. Okay. So the whole rig is forward. Right. So we just introduce another, another, uh, uh, another uh, panel, another, another, another one of these, only right. the other way around. So it'll just come running out of the back of the pod. The yeah, short XLR. Yeah. That's right. So therefore that, and then that goes up. straight into. Nice. So there's no DI box or anything like that required? There's no DI required. We okay. can put a DI, I mean, we could potentially put a DI in the back of it and have this right. as the out, okay. which I, was what I might do because it gives you more control. Right. Ground lifts and such. Yep. Um, but they're not expensive. You can get a Palmer one for the 30 All quid, right, okay. Not. Well, from my viewpoint, obviously, it's the, the sound I'm going to get from the shimmer, which is really... So I think what we'll do is we'll probably we'll wire it up um, and then we could mess about with some of the, the settings because I'm I'm keen to to use the reverb and maybe a wee touch of delay or something on on the pod just to try and smooth out that shimmer sound. So I'm going to kind of mess about with that sound and see what the results is. So yep, I'll we'll get back shortly. Fun and games. <laughs> Thank you. Right, well I think we have we've got the best signal path, Ross. What we've done. In terms of the signal path, we've went with a bit of bit of a problem just trying to rig it all up. We've seemed to have some noise as well, but we've the noise is coming from the pod because the pod's a, a preamp as well. Right. Um, okay. So what we're doing is we're coming. What we're saying we're going to do is coming out of the it's this one, sorry, the uh, SWD two thousand. Um, yeah, yep. two thousand out of the direct out of that into the thirty three B. Yeah. And then out of the thirty three B. Into pod, the pod pro. And the pod set up with what is it the same? It's just set up with tube, tube preamp. It's just it's not preamp. connected MIDI to anything. It's, it's just, just reverb and the, what's the, the effect we've got on it. It's just a, a compressor just to smooth out right. the, okay. the 33B. Um, and then that goes out to the PA. 
the Fair direct out direct the direct ID box. Alright. Well, do you want to do a, do a wee clip then? Sure. We'll see what it sounds like.